little warriors Changing our world day by day The way of the crypto warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Hey guys, mixwearroadroad.com This is a, it's something that's been <laughs> swirling around in my head And in the, the midst of the chaos People kind of stop thinking about it But Where is our government? the governors of the states, where are they trying to point us? Lockdown destroyed people's businesses that they've built over their entire lifetimes. But it was required for the health and safety of the people. The protests in the democratic states, you have to protest. It's your duty to end the injustice Completely thrown in the face of the lockdown. Are you kidding me? You tell us to destroy our lives and our businesses. And then you say, go out and protest with huge groups of people. Against some mythical justice that you think is not being served. What do you want? Protesters, what do you want? I want equality. Okay. What does that entail? How can we get past this? <laughs> it's kind of like fighting terrorism. It's fighting an ideal. Yeah, there's bad people everywhere. There's bad people on the left, on the right, in the police department. But ask yourself, what is their agenda? What is their agenda? <clears throat> the New Hampshire lockdown and protest double standard. People are finally starting to talk about it. The double standard between your government saying, oh, you have to, it is your duty to save lives, to close your business and stay home. Now it is your duty as an American citizen to go out and protest injustice and spread the coronavirus. Are you fucking kidding me? Chris Sununu and other governors aren't enforcing their stay-at-home orders equally. <clears throat> the Live Dire Free State has been locked down for almost three months. Last week, 17 times as the Granite Starters filed for unemployment, as did in the same period earlier, about 200,000 New Hampshire workers have filed for unemployment since Governor Chris Sununu declared a state of emergency on March 13th and followed up with a stay-at-home order on March 27th. To put that into perspective, the U.S. Census reports that the New Hampshire Total 217 employment, 2017 employment was 603,000. Last Friday, Sununu extended the stay-at-home order for the third time, guaranteeing more people will lose their jobs. He also threatened legal action against Riverside Speedway and Adventure Park in Groveton, New Hampshire, forcing the track to be, remain closed. His stay-at-home orders carries a potential $20,000 fine for businesses that defy him, and possible arrest and criminal prosecution for anyone else failing to follow the various micromanaged edicts he has issued. For example, you can use equipment at the gym if you pay for a personal trainer to follow you around. You can't make this stuff up. And then on Saturday he tweeted, I called the organizers ahead of the George Floyd March in Manchester to let them know the state of New Hampshire stands with them in their calls for justice. Um, hang on a minute. His tweet contained a link to an article at the website of MWUR, the local ABC affiliate, with the headline stating that over a thousand people attended the march, yet gatherings of 10 and more are supposed to be still prohibited by his own emergency order. When, check this out. When asked by the New Hampshire Journal about the contradiction, Sununu replied, Those that want to compare social injustices and the issues surrounding the murder of George Floyd to the effectiveness of a stay-home order and social gatherings are completely missing the point. They are two completely separate issues, and those that try to combine these two, they're doing an absolute disservice to the importance of of the message about those protests and the important importance of the message around injustices, are you freaking kidding me? So your socialist injustice that you can't define, and there's no way to fix in any time in the near future or probably in the far pe future, people will be people, 
is so much more important than destroying people's businesses and lives. This has got to end. This is the worst part of the left. You have to destroy your business, but and you better support the protest. With people going outside and spreading their oh-so-deadly disease. Why is it? Why is it that all these viruses don't really flare up in the summers? It's very simple. It's vitamin D. Vitamin D is the cure. There have been many studies. 99% of the people with high vitamin D levels don't get the coronavirus. No matter what your underlying condition. But they won't tell you that. They want you to buy your vaccine. They want to vax you up. It is completely outrageous now. California Governor Gavin Newsom so support for George Floyd protest, even though he tells my friends and family they're not allowed to go to work. During a Monday news conference, Gavin Newsom expressed sympathy, showing support for the protesters around the country outraged over the death of George Floyd. The black community is not responsible for what's happening in this country right now. They are not. I agree. You are. Politicians and leftists are. 100% responsible for what has happened to our country. He added, (laughs) unbelievable. We are. He even says we are. Our institutions are responsible. We are accountable to this moment. You are accountable to the American people who have done work for and built a business and built a job and a life for themselves. And you are destroying them because you don't give a shit about the people or what they've done with their lives to this point. He added, it's understandable that people are fed up with the lack of progress that leaders in society need to be held accountable. Okay, Gavin Newsom, you destroyed my family's businesses. You destroyed my friend's businesses. You destroyed the economy. And now you're saying it was all a joke. There's something more important than all that stuff. You can go outside and protest for social injustice, something that can never be fixed. We can always get better. We can never be fixed. Who is it that said, hey, all you got to do is do this and everything will be fine? No, it will never be fine. It's like fighting terrorism. You're fighting an idea. People have lost patience because they haven't seen progress. If you're out there saying people need to be patient, consider that people have lost patience for a reason. Newsom said, they have been told that over and over again, this is a manifestation of everything we've been promoting, but haven't delivered. If government, how long have the black people been under the democratic rule? That's their party, according to the Democrats. We get the black vote. What have the Democrats done for the black people? I'll tell you right now, nothing. Nothing. Listen to Candace Owens if you want to know the real story about what the problem with the black community is. It's the Democrats. Newsom goes on. They have been told over and over again, this is a manifestation of everything we've been promoting but haven't delivered. The Democrats haven't delivered it. Absolutely correct. If leaders are going to meet not just this, but not just this moment, but the moment in front of us, we need to start listening. We better start owning up to our accountability and responsibility. The Democratic Party is responsible for the, because of the policies. You're not empowering the people. You empower them by getting them jobs, getting them out there, working for the American dream. It is, a, it is a, an amazing dream. And those who work hard for it, black, white, or purple, can achieve it. This is the same guy who literally locks everybody up and says, this coronavirus is way too important. You're risking your grandmother's life if you go to work, if you leave your business open. So I'm going to ban it. This is wrong. It's sick. It's got to stop now. You want to you fight for something? Fight for freedom. Ask your governor, ask your politician, why are you supporting mass protests with mass people, thousands and thousands of people? 
if it's so important to save grandma's life by closing your business, shutting down what you do for a living, locking yourself in your house so you don't get any vitamin D, if it's so important, why are you allowing anybody to go protest? Protests should be banned in your world. But you're saying this social injustice is more important than everything everybody in America did to build their lives and their families and their friends. Get the fuck out. It's bad. This is Bix from the front lines. Talk to you later.